In this paper, we propose a new method for mitigating cyber sickness while preserving the visual details of the scene. Virtual reality immerses us in three-dimensional worlds and has vast potential in entertainment, education, design, and therapy. Unfortunately, using VR often results in discomfort due to unexpected camera movements. This discomfort, so-called cyber sickness, arises from the discrepancy between our movement and the movement we perceive in the VR environment. Central to this issue is vection, the illusion of self-motion. Several techniques, such as introducing tunnel vision, blurring content in the periphery, or modifying the camera path are known to reduce vection and therefore cyber sickness. Unfortunately, these techniques often compromise or alter the VR experience. Other techniques, such as active stimulation of the balance system, require special equipment, limiting their adoption. A more natural way to reduce cyber sickness in VR experiences is to reduce the overall motion in the scene. However, when modifications are simply applied to the camera speed or path, the virtual experience is altered too. We propose a new method for effective cyber sickness reduction that takes advantage of two key observations. One, vection is mostly affected by the motion perception in the periphery. Two, when modifications are applied to the visual scene, humans are much more likely to tolerate them when they are in the periphery. Our method combines these observations and directly reduces the peripheral vection cues, i.e. screen space object's velocity by applying geometrical modifications to the visual content. However, two problems arise from these manipulations. Simply reducing the peripheral motion lets a VR user perceive the camera motion to be slower and therefore alters the scene understanding. We found that this reduction in speed can be compensated by speeding up the objects in the fovea. While this seems counterintuitive, due to the importance of the periphery, vection is reduced overall. The other problem is that the distortions of the geometrical modifications accumulate over time. Here, we make use of the effect of change blindness during blinks and saccades to recover to the original rendering. While the above modifications are targeting linear movements, we further propose a solution to reduce cyber sickness arising from camera rotations. Angular movements are much more likely to cause cyber sickness than linear movements. One key information about the type of movement an object performs over time is given by the object's change in size in the periphery. By transforming the size of virtual rotating objects, we make them appear to move on a linear path instead of a circular one. In calibration experiments, for both the transformation of rotations and the compensation of linear movements, we found the thresholds at which the techniques are most effective while staying unnoticeable. For a given frame, we provide a perceptual model that describes the transformation of the image content so that vection is reduced while the image manipulations stay below the threshold of visibility. Input to the model is a screen space object motion, the camera movement, and the gaze data. Content deformations are applied based on eccentricity, camera velocity, and type of movement. For linear camera movement, the peripheral content is displayed against its movement direction, reducing vection. To maintain the perceived scene velocity, the foveal content is adjusted according to the direction of motion. For rotational camera movements, objects are transformed towards a linear trajectory, considering the axis of rotation. Our implementation runs as a real-time capable post-process on the GPU. The intensity of the induced countervection is set with the linear and angular velocity of the virtual camera. For rotational movements of the player's camera, the implementation of our perceptual model can be considered as a lens-like transform that moves the information in the periphery closer to the rotation axis. To avoid overlaps, the modifications of linear movements are optimized in real time. Our technique is designed to implicitly maintain temporal stability. With extensive testing, we validate our framework's effectiveness. We conducted a comprehensive experiment with different scenes in a realistic scenario. The results confirmed the effective reduction of cyber sickness and show that our method is more effective in this task than the commonly used peripheral blur. Moreover, while both techniques are subtle, our method does not suppress the user's visual information in the periphery. In conclusion, our framework offers a simple and general yet profoundly effective solution to enhance the user's VR experience even under extreme movement conditions.